I'm going to go ahead and uh, ask Ben some questions so you can get to his family. Um, obviously, you're very close to home. You tied your career uh, points tonight. Kind of Does it make that performance that much special, being able to have family there? Yeah, it's always good to perform decently in front of your, your family and whatnot. And, you know, it's great that I'll be able to talk to them a little bit. But, I mean, it's just another game. we got to be ready for the next one, regardless of how I play or anyone else plays. And then for both of you, you know, after the the loss on Saturday, how important was it to have a game like this to come back from that? I felt it was good. Uh, bounce back game. Uh, we wanted a well-rounded performance. So, I mean, just, just giving that and uh, feeling good about that, going back to want to see, uh, that's a good feeling. Yeah, just bouncing back, getting ready, you know, preparing for the next game. It's, it's always good to have a road one as well. You know, you guys started that game um, down 11 to zero. And I know you guys in the last game lost an 11 point lead. To you, does that show improvement with that? Um, yeah, I would say so. Uh, just the resiliency to, to bounce back and, and just fight back and stand with what Coach is saying, stand with our game plan, being consistent. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah, we uh, we were up and then we were down and I ended up losing the last game. But to, to win, to, to come here and win like that, I'm, I'm proud of my team and my coaches and everybody. You know, last thing I have for both of you guys, what do you think a win like today can do for the rest of the season? Uh, we just got to keep carrying that momentum. Um, it's a good win. Like I said, a well-rounded performance. Uh, we're going to need another one on Saturday. So, I mean, we know we're capable of doing it. So, we just got to do it every game. Every, uh, yeah, every game. Yeah, just keep stacking them. Keep stacking them. All right, awesome, thanks. Guys. Outside of our, our little three-minute start, um, I thought we played uh, some pretty good basketball, especially on the defensive end. Um, you know, there was – you know, obviously there was some – possessions offensively there in the second half when it was kind of out of hand. But, um, <clears throat> I, we we got to continue to clean up as these guys learn, um, you know, how to put put teams away. Like we were talking in the huddle, like, yeah, you don't you don't need to be, you know, throwing haymakers. You just got to grind these guys down. Um, and I thought we we had some some pretty good possessions. Um, they, they went zone. We attacked that um, really well. Um, I thought we had some some very purposeful offensive possessions that go along with a, a defensive effort of, you know, holding the team to, what, 30, 33% from the field and 59 points. So, um, you know, I, most coaches are going to be pretty happy with that. You know, you guys started the game down a little bit and you called an early timeout. What did, what did, what was the message in that timeout? Because it seemed to have an effect on the rest of the half. Well, it's just, you know, you, you, you come out um, and, you know, you, you got, you got a scouting report and you got personnel, you know, what these guys do and you allow them to do what they want to do. Like you start down 11 zero. And I thought we were, uh, you know, our first three shots were threes, you know, like we, we talked heading into the game, how we wanted to attack and, uh, you know, just simple reminder that we were doing things that, you know, we, we didn't want to do. And you know, we talked all, all week uh, or the last couple of days, like, you know, how we wanted to attack, like, let's, let's do that. You know, we, you guys talk about how we got to do that better. and all, Well, then let's do that. You know, you you know, we talked after the last game and these guys had, had a bunch of things um, like they, they got to get better at this. They got to get better. Well, then let's do that. And uh, I thought we, we responded pretty well after that. Do you think that's just doing the ability to kind of do that? Do you think that's just like a growing pain? No, I mean, I think you just young people, teams, you know, you, you know, they, they came out, they, you know, a couple of guys that don't shoot super high percentages, bang some shots. And um, the thing that I was happy with is, <clears throat> you know, they didn't shut it down. You know, they, they down 11-0, they could have dropped their heads and tucked the tail, and, and uh, they didn't. They came back and responded and, and had control of the game by by halftime. Yeah, you know, I was talking to the guys. You know, you, you're down 11 this game, and you come back from it. Last game, you guys gave up an 11-point lead. To you, does that show improvement between just two games? No. I, like, I look at why – why both happen. I don't really look, you know, I look at why both happen. I think they're two totally different um, instances. Like the, these guys, um, you know, they're, they're, you know, even though we've won 10 games, they're learning how to win in some tighter spots and, and um, you know, like the, and, and they got to grow and they got to be in those situations to, to be able to improve and, and have those type of experiences. Um, and a lot of it um, is, you know, just our ability to me mentally, um, sustain 
um, what we want to accomplish and the things it takes to accomplish those things. And, and uh, I was proud of how they responded after the first three minutes. Yeah, and watching the game today, you know, obviously Bashir has been kind of your guys' uh, number one scorer this season, but him, Mickey, uh, Ben, Jalen kind of all went off tonight. You know, how much easier does that make it for you guys when you can spread the ball around like that? Well, I, I thought, you know, they they put, put a lot of attention on on Bashir, um, you know, and, and I thought, um, you know, he did a good job of getting rid of it. Um, you know, when in, in the double team and reading that, you can see he's getting better with that. Um, and it's always it's always good uh, when you can score from from multiple spots. And um, when we had some good movement and shared the basketball, our offense was pretty good. Now, you know, when we get to you know trying to yo yoing it and and um, you know trying to do too much with the basketball, um, you know, we we stalled out a little bit. But when our movement was good and the, and the ball was moving, we, we got pretty much what we wanted. I know you talked about some issues in the second half. Do you think that was just guys getting up and thinking maybe the game was they had the game over? Yeah, you, know, you got a, you get a big lead. Um, and we got a little little sloppy, a little careless, but um, you know those you know coaches never want to see that. But that stuff like that is going to happen, and we just got to um, you know these guys these guys uh, they played really well and I really happy with how they responded. Yeah, I mean, you know, do you think this win could maybe spark something for the future? We'll see. You know, we'll see, you know, you just, um, you hope, but, but you don't know, you know, <laughs> you know, you're, you're dealing with 18 to 22 year old kids, you know, and, and, um, you know, you, you just, you never know what's going on in their mind. Just like at the, the end of the Miami game, you know, it's, it's a situation that we've drilled, we've practiced, we've shown, we've talked about, we've executed it in a game prior to already this season. Um, and coach, I just spaced. I, I just I just blanked and just tried to play the best defense I could. I mean, what do you you know, that's that's what um, that's what it is dealing with 18 to 22 year olds, man. And, um, you know, that's that's why I love what I do. It can be frustrating, but it's it's very rewarding. And, and um, you know, we're, we'll be better um, in that situation the next time because, you know, we've had that experience now. Awesome. And then last thing I have for you, um, I know on Saturday you said something about bumping up against people at the university and how maybe you hurt your preparation. Can you maybe clarify on what happened and if that has improved the last few days? Um, it's a personnel issue. Um, it has, I wish, um, I wish it was facility related. It's not facility related. Our facility people are fantastic. Um, <clears throat> the, our Worthen Arena and our practice facility are two of the best things we have going on in our basketball program. It was not uh, was not that it's a personnel issue um, concerning um, the overall well-being, health and well-being of one of our student athletes. Um, and so it's that's that's where it's at with that. Um, you know, I I coach these guys hard. I push them. I challenge them. Um, also try to educate them about life um, and also take care of them uh, from a personal standpoint, as well as I, well as I possibly can and take care of them from. Uh, as well as we possibly can from a university resource standpoint. Um, and this has nothing to do with resources. This is a personnel issue um, that I felt <clears throat> that uh, one of our student athletes' um, rights were violated. And, and um, that does not sit well with me, nor should it sit well with anybody within our university. Um, and if it was something that I knew about, um, not just one of my players, but if it was another student athlete or another student on campus, um, it would not sit well with me, but it is a personal issue and it's uh, we're working through that.